Hey guys, welcome back to Work Autonomy. So today we're going to be talking about Salesforce. And before we get started with Salesforce, I do want to just give a big thank you again for all the likes, subscribes, the views that I received. So I really just appreciate the continued support. So thank you guys very, very much. And then also, if you're interested in, in applying for the jobs, the links for them will always be in the description box below for you. So just get the link there. And now back to Salesforce. Now, if you don't know what Salesforce is, this is a cloud-based software company that's been around for quite some time, for probably like over 20 years. I've used Salesforce. It's easy to use, but it's very popular because a lot of companies can use it for whatever purposes they need it for. So it's a customer relationship management tool that can be used for customer service, it can be used for actual sales, for marketing, for analytics, for application development, for whatever you need it for. And in addition to that, Salesforce has acquired Slack. I also use Slack. And Slack, if you don't know, it is just a way to communicate within your company or within your ecosystem, your teammates. Simple way, fun way, very intuitive. And since they've acquired Slack, there is the customer experience agent position for Salesforce in particular, and then also a customer experience agent position that's gonna be working in the Slack department. So this job that I have pulled up, it's the Slack division and they're hiring in the Midwest. So these are the states that are eligible to apply. Also, they're very particular about location. So they do hire in Ireland, they hire in Japan, and they hire in Canada apart from the Midwest of the United States. So if you're any of these countries or states, then definitely take a look into the link below. But as a customer experience agent, what you'll be doing is you'll provide fast, accurate, and personalized communication to Slack users through email, phone, live chat, and social media. Solve customer issues by developing expertise in relevant product areas. Identify and surface individual customer trends and process improvements. Reproduce and document bugs for the engineering and product teams. Contribute to your ongoing learning and success, success of the team by participating in experimentation efforts maintain the learning resources and knowledge base to improve the accuracy of the support that is provided to the customers and the requirements that they're looking for is you have experience in customer facing role maintain a keen interest in providing outstanding customer support experiences you are an articulate communicator proficient in both verbal and written english language and enjoy crafting clear and concise messages to customers you are hardworking and eagerly embrace the challenge of solving problems you're curious about technology and software and learning how the customers use the product. You are a standout teammate who believes that the whole is greater than the sum of all parts. You are empathetic and enjoy teaching customers at all levels of technical proficiency. You have a track record of making sound decisions in line with managing your time and prioritization of responsibilities. You are self-aware and able to adapt to changing environments. You're resourceful, re flexible, and hold self accountable and persevere in the face of obstacles. You follow through on your commitments. You have a post secondary degree or equivalent professional experience. So you don't have to have a degree as long as you have equivalent professional experience. You can work with the company remotely on a central time zone since this is the Midwest we're dealing with and they're available to work assigned shift rotations as needed in accordance with U.S. local laws and regulations. So on Glassdoor.com, you can check this out for customer experience agents. I think there was 19 salaries that was provided. So the average salary is around $60,000 for this role, which does include benefits. It's not posted here, but you can check on the benefits page on Salesforce. So check that out. But yeah, this is all that I have for you guys at this time. If you guys like the video, please continue to like, subscribe, so you can get notified when I post new job opportunities. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next videos. Take care.